next part of this challenge, we are going to be doing a race. Six laps around a figure of eight circuit. Now, this is split up into two heats. The top three from each heat will go into a final. Now, you cannot reset your car. You're allowed to no grab it if it falls over, but you cannot reset your vehicle. If it gets broken, uh, we are off and underway. Lano's Jetman is into the lead of this. Can it get turned around a corner? Not really is the answer. I'll tell you what, it gets accelerated out of it. Something crazy. Now, this is where Shadow's vehicle might come into its own. If it can survive... Oh, it bounces around horribly. Through there, and Shadow's had a big spin in front of in front of Longbow. Speed Beast has no brakes and can't stop, neither can Rusky. Uh, I think everyone will be okay there. I think they'll be able to carry on. Lado leads the way with the jet van. Uh, we're on to the second lap of the race. Longbow is battling with Danger Man. Now, this lot here would all progress, but... Oh, Shadow's having a tough time here. Uh, here goes Speed Beast with the... Oh, Lado sent it big time. Lado might be in trouble. Lado's tried to jump too far. I don't know if that's going to continue. I think Lado might be eliminated. Someone's like, oh, Danger Man. Has Danger Man lost a wheel? That may have been a bit of desync. I think Danger Man's okay. Uh, so, it is now... Oh, no, Danger Man might have lost. Danger Man's got real steering trouble. So, Longbow leads the way. Lado has got going again. If Lado could find their way back on the circuit, this might be doable. Longbow's onto a, onto a lap number three. I think Shadow may be wrecked. I think Shadow might be out of this one. Uh, so it's Longbow leading from Danger Man here. Uh, Rusky was in third, but Lado has now taken that away briefly and then spun. Uh, Danger Man is going to cross the center jump. Rusky's trying to be careful not to wreck it. There goes the Jet Man. Now, if Lado can chase down Rusky, despite that tremendous accident, Lado is in with a chance. Shadow's got going again, uh, but I believe Shadow is a lap down now. Um, so, Lombo is having a great race at the moment. Lombo is having a very good, calm race. Lado is not having a very good, calm race. Oh, Lado's off again. Lado's visiting bits of scenery. Uh, he's got I have no idea what way any of this is going to go, other than Lombo has just got to not crash. Basically, what matters, uh, I think is can Lado catch Rusky? Will Danger Man have any problems? Longbow's just got to keep going. Uh, I think Speed Beast is on par with them. Mind. Speed Beast has smashed it into the into the barrier, has got grabbed reverse, uh, is getting going again. Um, Danger Man is, is under threat from <laughs> Rusky as Lado falls over. Danger Man is really, really struggling. Lombo's almost lapped everybody, but Lado's got too many issues with their van at this point uh, for it to matter. Speed Beast has fallen off. Uh, so Rusky's up to second, I think, at this point, if I am keeping track of things. Final lap of the race for Longbo. Uh, almost lapped the entire field. Lado has got the van. Somehow it's still going. There's some desync. Lado's van won't be quite that badly broken, but we definitely know it's had a bad time through all of this. Longbo through the centre uh, doesn't get into too much trouble here. Danger Man's still limping around on th on three wheels, so I don't think that was desync because it's just not. Either that or it's got heavy steering damage. Um, it is going to be. Oh, Longbo does jump over Lado. Don't think Lombo... Well, whether Lombo lost a wheel or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, Lombo is going to take a victory. Danger Man has still got another lap to go uh, in all of this. So can Lado... I don't think Lado can chase down the... Uh, man of danger, although I guess anything can happen between now and the end of the race. Uh, it's going to be Shadow still got another lap to go. Uh, Lado has also got another lap to go. Rusky is going to cross the line, I believe, and take second in all of this one. Uh, then it is Speed Beast has still got to go. Uh, yeah, Rusky is second. It's Danger Man who is now is Shadow. Shadow on the same lap as Danger Man. I think they are. They've slid off trying to push it. It's going to be, I believe, Danger Man with very busted steering, but Danger Man completes the race. Danger Man will take third. Those are your three that will progress through to the next round. Uh, I think after the worst start in history, Shadow managed to claw, claw their way back to fourth. Lado's destroyed van is... Uh, <laughs> is struggling. <laughs> Oh, and Speed Beast has smashed the wall. I mean, Speed Beast's vehicle is an absolute state as well. But Speed Beast is going to cross the line. I mean, all vehicles are still running somehow at the end of that, despite the horrific mess. And that is it. Good effort by Lado. Just too, <laughs> too over-exuberant on the rockets. Great race. Great show from everybody involved. Good stuff.
good stuff. Now, we move on to the second heat, semi-final, whatever you want to call it. Not gonna lie, I'm very scared. Now, my vehicle in theory will probably be one of the fastest around a lap here. The problem is, I weigh 800 kilos. I weigh a quarter of a lot of the vehicles that we have running here. If I get hit, I genuinely don't think I'm going to survive more than one, maybe two hits. I would be very easy for me to lose a wheel. I'm going to have to play this very, very cleverly. Uh, that is my goal. Uh, so we are going to let people go at the start line a little bit. I don't want to get tangled. We saw what happened last time with some very, very big accidents. Blisk has got a bump. Brazen's got turned around. Uh, so we're going to try. I mean, it's, it's a difficult little game that I've got to play here. Uh, where I just don't want to get involved in crashes because all it takes is someone trying to send it over the jump and I feel the wrath of a buggy for an example. Uh, now we're going to try and duck down here and uh, make our way through the centre. Uh, we are just biding our time carefully. I mean I'm nowhere near doing what this vehicle is capable of uh, at the moment. But of course I mean, they don't really want to tangle unnecessarily because while I will probably bend my wheels uh, they definitely can bend theirs as well. Uh, right, we are over the centre jump. Stevie is absolutely sending it. Uh, apologies for the flicking back with the camera. Uh, we've really got to try and see what's going on. I want to clear Shados here and get out of the way, which we do. Uh, the buggy is to the front of the field. We've made it through. We're on to the third lap of the race here. Uh, now, we've had a much cleaner round than the first one. That is for sure. Brazen's got some pace with the Legron buggy thing. Uh, at the moment, I am just taking it. I mean, I'm taking it a little bit easy. I'm just not grip rolling it, not doing anything stupid. The front wheel likes to lift up. Uh, right, we're going to let Joe go. Uh, Brazen will have a go at trying to find a way past. Uh, now, I'm not too fussed whether I qualify in first or second. The more important bit there was don't get hit by Joe. Uh, I think we should be good to go ahead of Stevie. We are through the air side by side with Brad. I mean, me and Brazen have probably got the two most similar vehicles in this one. Uh, my front wheel does not stay on the ground at all. It's glorious. Oh, Stevie and Shados almost came together. Uh, I can hear where Brazen is at almost all times. That thing's so loud. Stevie, I believe, has lost a wheel. Uh, while there is sometimes D6, Stevie's struggling with speed. Uh, through the corners. I am not hitting that hard. Brazen is. Brazen's in a better point for that jump. Uh, we are with a front wheel once again in the air through the next corner. I think we will be ahead of Shados, which we are. Brazen's still a little bit further back. Joe is bouncing around. And we are... Way, uh, whoa. Was that across the finish line? Uh, I was going to say, I thought we had one more lap to go. Oh, Joe has tangled with Brazen. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I think there may have been a slight premature flag waving there from, uh, from Danger Man. Uh, Brazen got tangled with a lap down vehicle, which is not what you want. I am not going to go here uh, whatsoever. I unfortunately think Brazen may, may have broken down. Um... That is desperately unlucky if that is the case. Uh, that is horrifically unlucky for poor Brazen. Uh, they were having such a good round as well um, in all of that. That's so unlucky. Um, can I even push it? No, I can't even get it. <laughs> I tried. Oh, no, there we go. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, no, don't. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to help. I was trying. We were gonna. We were gonna push Brazen around for such a good race. Uh, that is very unlucky. Brazen just got tangled with Joe. I mean, it is always the danger. It is always the danger. Um, I mean, we did what we had to do. We did what we had to do. Uh, we we played it careful at the start. We waited our moment and we pounced when we could. We had one little oversteer moment. What is going on? Oh, uh, bye bye, Brazen. One oversteer moment. Got us in trouble, but, uh, yeah, not enough to cause any lasting damage like that, for example. We are through to the final. It is time for the finals here. We are here with Scarab. Uh, we're up against Longbow's very big Roma. We've got Amy's 6x6, Gliska's 200BX, Danger Man with the Sunburst, Rusky with the I-Series. I mean, it's, it's very much... Uh, 
the more lightweight vehicles have made it. That is to be expected in this. I am going for a very similar approach to last time. Uh, I just am going to try and stay out of trouble as much as I can. My very exposed wheels are a weakness in this. Uh, Danger Man almost grip rolled through the first corner in that one. Brazen, I feel I feel a little bit sad for poor Brazen uh, not being able to make it here. I feel like the Legroma, uh, whatever the thing was supposed to be called. I can't actually remember what the, the actual proper name of it is. Oh, oh, we almost got fed into the concrete. Uh, way. We are on to the second lap of the race. Yeah, I mean, like, I have the pace to get past Gliska there, but if I'd st stayed in the throttle, I might have bumped the wall with my wheels. And the concrete, funnily enough, uh, will win that battle against my little buggy. Uh, it's the downside of trying to go around the outside of some of these vehicles here. My front wheel is higher, I think, than the bed of Amy's truck at the moment. Danger Man might be in trouble. Uh, Danger Man is having issues. I think Danger Man may be on three wheels again. Uh, through this. I mean, trying to find a way past Amy's truck is genuinely difficult because of that, we've got issues now. Uh, yeah, so we kissed the wall trying to find a way past. Uh, oh, we have big issues. We have very big issues. Danger Man is in the way. Oh, I see a big shadow through there. I don't know what it was. I presume Longbow uh, truck behind me. So what I've done, this thing's all-wheel steer and kissing the wall the rear left, the steering connector's gone, so my rear left wheel does whatever it likes at the moment, uh, which is very difficult to drive with. Very difficult to drive with. Oh, uh, oh and it flies badly now as well, because the wheel... So this thing's got quite a lot of in-air control, because there's so much inertia from the wheels, and it's so light. Uh, that's wobbling around. It can actually genuinely cause me grief. Uh, I don't think we have a way to catch Amy anymore. Uh, realistically, not without... I mean, I might have to settle for a second. Uh, we shouldn't have tried to go around the outside of that one. Uh, all right, we will wait, let Rusky go. No reason to fight it. Danger Man's had issues. Uh, we are closing in a little bit here. Uh, come on. Come on. All right, we should be clear of Rusky this time around. Now, we're on to the final lap. When we've caught up to Amy, we've gradually found a way to drive around our issues here. I mean, my vehicle, in theory, should be so much better uh, than the 6x6 here. Uh, oh, come on. Don't, don't break it now. Uh, I just don't... I can't attack the corners like I should. Oh, I don't know. There may be a chance here. There may be a chance. We're going to boot it. We're going to roll. We're going to take it. Victory for the Scarab Just. <laughs> we lost the wheel. The buggy might be undrivable, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care one bit. Victory goes the way of the Scarab. It limps its way around. <laughs> what a race. Oh, God. The Scarab takes it on the line. Uh, yeah, that kiss on the wall. So the lightest contact. That's why I was playing it so carefully. You see why I was so careful for the first few laps. It took one brush on the wall and it bent the wheel. I figured out how to drive around it. The Scarab claims a victory. That, I couldn't have done it better if I tried. Couldn't have made it more dramatic. Bloody hell. What a race. I don't actually know what the rest of the order was. Gliska was in third. I think it was then Longbow, then Rusky. Uh, and then Danger Man, unfortunately, had some problems. Bloody hell. So, here is how the leaderboard stands at the end of this round. We have got an even bigger lead in the Scarab with that last corner pass, uh, putting it further away from the 6x6 uh, that would sit in second. The Monster Wigeon falls a little bit further back in third, but does remain in third ahead of Gliska's 200BX. The Long Roma uh, is in fifth ahead of Shadows's D-Series. Uh, Danger Man <laughs> Sunburst uh, is I mean, it's all close from third, well I mean third down to even Lado in ninth. It's all pretty close uh, down there. So yeah, Danger Man is in seventh, just one point ahead of Rusky's I series. Lado's jet van, kind of a bit of a case of what if. Uh, could have had a little bit better run, maybe. Um, that was sit ninth ahead of Shadows. The Rainer, also another case of what if. It could have had a clean run, got very unlucky in this one. Uh, Stevie uh, would sit in eleventh ahead of Joe's Patriot, struggling with the bouncing in the Patriot. And Brazen's having no luck at all uh, with the <laughs> off-roader. Was quick, just didn't quite go the way they needed it to. Our final round for this challenge. 
is, I say a simple one, this is, well, it's a sled pull. We're using the, essentially like a tractor pulling sled, I don't know if they have a proper name, but it is a very, very heavy sled uh, in which the weight gradually moves to make it more difficult the further you go down. Now, in multiplayer, the sink's not great on the weight, so don't worry, it does sort of slide about a bit willy-nilly. It, it should, in theory, work for everybody. Now, starting with Amy's 6x6, this is one of the most powerful here. It's got a huge amount of horsepower, a huge amount of torque as well going on. It might be very heavy, but this is the sort of thing that the 6x6 should be good at, and even with the weight moving, it's not going to stop it. It has got the power, it's got the torque, and it is going to get across the finish line. So this is going to be a case of how far do you go, and if you get to the end, it's who gets there fastest. Um, it's going to be a hell of a tough one, though. This is a very, very heavy weight uh, to try and pull for these vehicles. The 6x6 was always going to be strong in this one. The 6x6 was always going to be a very, very strong vehicle. It was always going to be a tough one to uh, to beat for this. Uh, Shados is up next. Now, they have got the, the, the D-Series. Now, not all of the chassis can get tow hitches, which makes it a little bit difficult, so it'll be kind of node stuck together. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's all we can do uh, with this. Shados has got the power and torque at least to be getting it moving on its way down the runway. We're getting towards the halfway mark with the D-Series as it slides forwards and it's going to... Uh, yeah. It's going to bring it to a stop. Shados is trying. It's trying. I mean, it's still spinning its wheels like crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's going to wheelie. It's going to... Oh, it's gone over. Yeah, <laughs> it can't do it. That way, a little bit too much. That was just a little bit too much for uh, for Shados in that one. The truck has flipped, and that is going... To, it's still not a bad run, to be fair. It's not a terrible run. Gliska is up next. Now, the Gliska, the chassis of this is not that dissimilar to Shadows. This is sort of a smaller version, if you like, of Shadows' truck. This 200BX is kind of a 200BX body shoved on a D-series sh chassis, kind of. Uh, it's smaller and lighter. This won't have as much power, uh, but it's got a decent start. It's a decent pull, although it's going to start running out of momentum. Now, Gliska's gone, maybe gone... Uh, I don't know. I don't know when the Gliska was kind of holding it at slightly lower revs and then is booting it, trying to boot it. Is the whoa we've got over? Uh, it's yeah. The problem with the 200 BX is it's, it's liking to wheelie. So it's str Gliska is struggling to put all the power down because if you just boot it, it wants to flip. Uh, it's not quite long enough. I know the like, tracks pulling things are huge. Uh, these these are not certainly not Gliskas. And it, the problem we've got here, yeah, is it just wants to wheelie. It's not putting its power down. Uh, because it's trying to win. There might also be a slight difficulty with having to sort of node stick the tra trailer to the, the frame of the vehicle. I mean, at the end of the day, none of these vehicles are built for this. They're not supposed to be able to pull a sled. <laughs> like, they're not supposed to do tractor pulling. Um, but I mean, we are also taking a little, like, if, if you run out of momentum, you can have a couple of cracks at trying to get it going again. Uh, I don't think you can with actual... But to be fair with the actual one, you'd be stuck anyway. Um, but regardless, because we're still trying, it's gonna. I don't think it's going to go. It's just wheeling its way along now. Uh, we're kind of... Oh, no. We've, have we gone? Have we flipped it? And I think that's going to be the end. And there we go. The 200BX has come to rest. Again, it got it moving. It got it moving, which is something here. Which is something here that I don't think all of them are going to. Uh, <laughs> we've got Danger Man's Sunburst up next. Uh, these, of course, much smaller, much lighter cars with a lot less power, and yep, that's got problems. In fact, the wheels look like they're barely even trying to turn on this one. The the Sunburst is juddering its way forward uh, in this, which is not ideal. It's not really going, is it? Um, there's, again, there's a little bit of desync with the, the trailer being connected and so on. Don't worry about that. It's nothing we can really do. It's, it's been multiplayer for you. Uh, the Sunburst, it's, it can't even really... It's not really even spinning its wheels up. I was expecting it to be at least spinning its wheels up if if it couldn't pull it forward. But it's, it's moved it, but not very far. It's moved it, but, but barely. Uh, the Jet Van will go next. I mean, this thing does have a huge amount of thrust. I don't know if that's good for... Uh, pulling a trailer. I also, I'm not sure where the beam would even simulate it, but the thrust coming out of the engines are quite quite low down. Will it hit the like guard on the trailer and 
essentially be making itself more difficult? Will it be pushing the trailer backward? I don't know whether the jets are going to be a problem with the way they're, they're putting thrust out. Either way, Lado is going to set the van underway, and it is moving. It has got enough thrust to get it going. It's got better than the sunburst uh, off the start line here. We are heading along, but it is quickly running out. As I, mean, I don't think the weight actually moves that quickly. I think it's just the multiplayer showing it. That's, it's just run out of, run out of thrust uh, down here. It's got a little bit of. Well, there's a bit of wiggling going on. There's a bit of wiggling going on in the van. There's a lot of wiggling going on with the trailer. Um, I feel like it's probably not what you want. There's a lot of. <laughs> there's a lot of. <laughs> it's just made of jelly. I think. <laughs> oh, there we go. I mean, Lado is definitely trying. Lado is definitely trying, but I don't think that's going to go any further. I mean, it got moving. It got moving for a little while, but there is... Yeah, the jet van is done. Put up a good fight. Put up a good fight, but that is the end of the, of, of the jet van. Couldn't get as far as Gliska's 200px, but... I think I was a bit ambitious with the finish line. Not gonna, <laughs> not gonna lie. Good effort though. The jet van continues to, you know, be vaguely impressive. The Rainer is up next. This another car that is never likely to be particularly strong for this. Uh, you know, the, the theory with these vehicles is they'd be good at the other rounds and maybe sacrifice this one. The Rainer's actually got it moving better than I thought. It's got a bit of a jump there. It got it going. It's it's ground to a halt as it runs out of uh, runs out of momentum. You're going to back it up and try again. Uh, will it be able to get? You can kind of get the little bit of a jump. It's potentially it's it's struggling a bit like Danger Man's vehicle. It's almost even struggling to spin up the wheels. Um, with this, and it's going to try once more. It judders, judders forward. I mean, it's got a bit of movement going on with all of that. It's going to break itself, I think, just kind of reversing into that and leaping forward. Oh, that, yep, it's done. Oh, that's bad. I think it's pulled the rear axle apart. That whole rear suspension's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. We've not seen an engine blow up yet, but I'm pretty sure the Rainer might have lost its drive to the rear wheels. Um, very, very, well, I say very unfortunate. It did better than I thought it might. It did better than I thought it might, but it is now done. That is the end. That is the end of that. Speed Beast, in theory, could be quite good. The problem for this is it's not got a tow hitch at all, so it's got to get mounted to the chassis. And this thing has got such a wibbly wobbly chassis uh, that trying to sort of flex its way down the course could be a problem. But either way, it will set off, and it's an immediate huge wheelie from Speed Beast, and that has twisted itself up. There's almost so much torque from the Monster Widget that it's not helping, it's not going well. The Monster Widget is on its side. Now, can there be a recovery from this? I mean, it's moved it. It's got the power to move it and the torque to move it, but it's almost got too much. It's got so much that it's going through the chassis in a weird way. That's wiggled and it's twisted itself. <laughs> I think it's got a bit further than Shadowper. <laughs> it's flipped itself inside out. Uh, I, well, kind of. Yeah, that's sort of broken. I think that is the end of the Monster Widgeon. It has kind of got a little bit screwed up in all of that. Up next, we have got Joe with the Patriot. It's struggled so far. It's one of the least powerful things here, but it's it's got a hell of a amount of torque. Look at it go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. We're going past Lado. We're going past Gliska. The weight is going to gradually get more and more difficult for the Patriot, and that is the, uh, that's the stopping point for it. It's an undramatic run in many ways. However, that's a hell of a performance for the Patriot. He's going to try, but I think the weight's got too much for it. As it, uh, as it has gone. But for the Patriot that has struggled so far immensely in this round, in these in these challenges, I wasn't expecting that. As I said, one of the least powerful things here. Uh, it's more power than me, but it is one of the less powerful things. To have managed to do that is very good going. The I-Series is up next. We have got uh, Ruskies. Uh, I suspect it's going to be along the lines of what we saw from Danger Man uh, here uh, with in terms of its gonna struggle it probably won't have enough power to pull the sled uh all that far is gonna give it's gonna be a little bit of the sort of jank it forwards approach that we saw 
uh, shadow used to some effect, and there's already smoke pouring out of the car. Uh, is that clutch smoke, maybe? Uh, clutch smoke or overheating? Not 100% sure. It sounds terrible. That sounds absolutely awful. Something's going wrong in the iSeries, to say the least. Um, the the iSeries is having a really bad time, and uh, <laughs> that is, yeah, that is that is not going to get much further. I mean, it's got it moving, but it's got it moving barely at the moment. Oh, the wings come off. Yep, there's some more damage has been done. Uh, these just don't have the power. They don't have the power to get them going, and they don't have the power. Or well, they have the grip in some ways, but they can't, yeah. It's just not going enough. There's a bit of a jump. That's a little bit more successful. The engine at some point is going to give up uh, with this one. The <laughs> series, it wants to try. It hasn't popped the uh, the rear suspension apart yet, which is, I mean, good, which is something in this. The rear suspension is still vaguely, vaguely in one piece. That engine is going to give up. It's going to start having, like, piston rings damage and head gasket go, or... Uh, all the clutch is going to melt if it isn't... Uh, no, I think, it, I think it is more clutch than it. Either way, I think that's going to be done now. Uh, the clutch is going to certainly stop working soon. The ice here got it moving. It got it moving, but that is all all the ice series can manage. Not a massive surprise, though. Not a massive surprise in that. Longbow is up next with the big old long Roma. Uh, it should be less wheelieing. I think it might actually be a good round for the the, the length of this is probably going to be helpful uh, for it. Uh, of course, it's big and heavy, so it's going to have a decent amount of power to get up to the 0 0.35 uh, power to weight ratio that we're all using. Uh, so it should have enough power and torque to move it. We should get a decent start uh, from this one. And there we go. We are off and underway, and it is a good start. Very strong start from the long Roma here as we go down the sort of runway. We're going to go up into second place. Can the Roma go all the way to the end? It's going to start struggling I think here. It is running out of momentum. It's running out of power. It's jittering and jumping around. But I think that's all it's going to do. Yeah, I mean it's spinning, I think it's spinning up the front wheels and not the rear but it can't go any further. I, mean, I think I might have been a bit ambitious with the finish line. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but... It's a good showing. It's a great run from the Roma. However, that is all it is going to be able to do. Finally, we have got the Scarab. I knew this round was going to suck when I picked it. If we can even move the trailer, I'll be amazed. Uh, in this one, unfortunately. Uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see what we can do. We've only got 300 horsepower. Uh, we've shuffled it off the line a little bit, and that's uh, about all we can do. Uh, there's no... <laughs> it's just... It's nothing. It's not going to move it. We can go for the back up and try again approach. It, it's shuffling. We've moved it maybe, what, like 10 centimetres, 20 centimetres, maybe? <laughs> it's not really worked. I knew this round was going to suck. I had the Scarab specifically to be good at the other events, and I knew I'd sacrifice this one. Now my engine's overheating. I mean, it's not a surprise, really. Uh, it's not, it's not going to do it. It's not got, it's got nowhere near enough power to, sh to shift this. Uh, the piston rings are gone. Uh, I mean, even with the jolting it forward approach, we just don't have the power. We don't have the force. We don't have the momentum to make this work. Uh, that will be... I mean, we did get it moving. We got it moving, but... That's it. And then that's basically the end of my engine as well at this point. Not unsurprising, really. So, it is the moment of truth. We are on to the overall results and the Scarab got beaten. Amy's 6x6 D-Series would take victory just in this. The Scarab would have to settle for second place. A very strong final round would put the Long Roma up into third, ahead of Shados' D-Series. Shados and Gliska uh, tied on points, but Shados would take it based on uh, two third places uh, would do the job there. Uh, Speed Beast would end up sixth with the Monster Widgeon. It had its moments of strength, but also moments of not strength. A bit unlucky in the sled pull that it twisted and talked itself up into a pretzel, basically. Um, but uh, yeah, unfortunate there. 
Uh, Danger Man would be seventh in the Sunburst. <laughs> Tied on points again with Lado, but better uh, average finishing positions. The Jet Van had, again, moments of being surprisingly good. Better than expected, I think, is the way I would sum up the Jet Van. A little bit unlucky in places. Uh, Rusky's I-Series would be ninth ahead of Shadows. Rainer, that also a bit unlucky in a couple of events where it could have maybe been strong. Joe's Patriot had terrible suspension, but was amazingly good at the sled pull. Uh, that really, really sort of got it closer to the rest of the field. Unfortunately for Stevie and, uh, and Brazen, they were unable to take part in all the events. Stevie's D-Series struggled a little bit. Uh, Brazen's uh, off-roader could have been fast. It, certainly the figure of eight could have been fast. I just, it just it was unfortunate in, in getting in trouble uh, at the events, it, uh, the events it could have been good at. But there we go. That is going to be it for this little tournament. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've certainly had fun. The Scarab, I mean, look, we, we lost it. Even if we... Actually, no, if we had won... Look, if, we had, if we had won, the Mud Drag Race would have been tied on points with Amy. We would have won based on three victories. But the, the Scarab was... The Scarab was designed to be really good at some things, and it did those things. I mean, I maximised all the points I could have done. I don't think I could have done any better. We won two rounds. We got second in the Mud Drag Race. And I knew we couldn't do the sled pull, but I sacrificed that, and it still wasn't enough. The six by six scored enough points elsewhere that it, you know, even though, even though, yeah, we had an amazing run, the six by six still scored enough points that I could not beat it overall. So there we go. I think the the reversing with the six by six at the Monster Jam to get it into second is what won the six by six this tournament. Is what won Amy the tournament uh, because if it, if it had been taking normal corners, it wouldn't have scored anywhere near as many points at Monster Jam, and that would have been all I needed was three points. <laughs> that was that was the difference. That was the difference uh, in this one. It's been a great fun tournament. I hope you've enjoyed it. I love the little scarab buggy thing. It's brilliant fun to drive. Uh, that though is going to be it for this uh, for this video thank you all very much for watching and until next time a uh, goodbye